It happens to be uh, Filipino History Month of October, and we just happened to be playing them in October, so we decided to take the opportunity and definitely celebrate a wonderful night. We appreciate you guys coming out. All of us have had an historic night here at Toyota Service. We celebrate Filipino Heritage Night. Uh, this was the first time in NBA history that two players of Filipino descent have played in the same NBA game. Of course, Jalen Green of your Rockets. Jordan Clarkson of the Utah Cavs. Yeah, it's just awesome being able to share the same court as him. Represent the Philippines. This is story. I don't know if it's sad to have on me yet, but uh, we're going to be the first, and uh, nobody else could ever do it again if you don't know what Majority, the biggest following on the Rockets Facebook are fans from the Philippines. Whoa. What's it feel like to have an entire country behind you? It's amazing. You know, we, we feel the love, we feel the support every time. You know, I know when I step on the floor, I know when he steps on the floor. Uh, we know we represent the country, uh, we represent our people, and um, we going out there doing what we doing. It's awesome to be able to come out here and play the game I love and support. Um, and just have the Filipino country on my backside. Um, I'm always repping. I'm always repping to the end of my career. So I'm just happy y'all uh, also love and support. I appreciate it. Playing against a guy like Jordan Clarkson, the NBA's reigning sixth man of the year. Uh, how often do you guys talk and share stories? Uh, and have you, have you had enough, much of an opportunity to talk with him about his NBA experience? Um, I actually got a chance to uh, talk to him when I was in LA working out before draft night. He just told me keep hooping. Um, I know we got tagged in a lot of posts from the Philippines. And um, yeah, he's a great player. Um, he's been in the league for a while, so he got a lot of experience. Let's talk a little bit um, about your background, your heritage here. Um, have you visited the Philippines? Yeah, I've actually been to the Philippines twice, my sophomore year and my junior year. Could you tell us what was the experience like for you? The experience was amazing. The food out there is A1. <laughs> um, but yeah, the Philippines show a lot of love and support. Everybody out there, um, I know they love the game of basketball. Um, I think I had like a 51 point game. I broke the record out there. Now, I know you've also been to the Philippines and you're pretty much a rock star over there, right? Yep. <laughs> I love it, I love it. <laughs> what, what, what was that experience like for you? Oh, uh, it's great. Like I said, we feel the love everywhere we go. You know, I, I walk out the house, I know I'm representing, and, you know, I'm going to get some love from the Filipinos all the way. Um, you were able to play for the Philippine national team in 2018 during during the Asian Games. How special was that for you? Uh, it was real special. Um, now, next thing we got to work on is uh, getting Jalen on those jerseys. <laughs> How did this thing come about, Anthony? Uh, we started trying to organize in August. Uh, you know, we've been doing Filipino Heritage Night for several years with group sales and just kind of developed and was always pushing for it. And thanks to Jalen Green and Leilani from the Rockets, uh, Jalen demanded one. Leilani, the pin who works with us, was able to push for one. So of course, you know, using the power of the Filipino community and the network, I called my brother Lyle up and <laughs> go, hey, what's up? And like, I know you have the experience of doing it uh, in the other cities. Let's come together. Let's do this. And then uh, one thing led to another, to another. So we're looking forward to more, uh, more future Filipino Heritage Nights here in Houston. Why is it important that we help each other do things like this? Oh, it's, it's obviously more important because it's very important to uplift the community, empower each other. There's no unity without community, right? Uh, <laughs> so Leilani, I hear that you were the one that put this thing together. Oh, uh, it takes a team, but yes, um, I am the director of events and promotions, and I'm very proud to represent the Filipino community here in Houston, Texas. What were the challenges putting this thing together? Um, the time. Uh, you always need more time uh, putting things together, but um, the Filipino community is so supportive and they gather in droves and they made everything possible for us tonight. What was the most rewarding about tonight? Uh, the community 
and just seeing the commonality that we all have and what sports can do and especially after a year of covid and uh being separated and it, it's it's nice to that we can come back for a common a common love and a common goal and seeing that we have a filipina in the rockets um organization what more can the filipino fans expect from the rocket. Oh, definitely more Filipino Heritage Night for sure. We definitely want to make this an annual event. And not only that, just uh, more connections in the community, uh, whether it's youth basketball, community service events, we definitely want to integrate them uh, a lot more throughout the year. Brian, why was it important for you to be here today? Uh, this I'm from Houston, so, uh, and I'm Filipino. Uh, my favorite player is Jalen Green, so everything just kind of fell in line. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to represent my city and my, my, my people and uh, yeah, and the Rockets. I'm so happy to meet all my Kababayans out here. There was so much Filipinos tonight. Guys, did you watch? <laughs> Well, I think it's really great that we're all coming together and just uniting as one, kind of showcasing our culture, um, that we're proud to be here, proud to be Filipino. And it's just so awesome to see so many Filipinos out together in the community. And we are just spreading awareness of our presence in the city and the importance of capturing the Filipino-American uh, story in Houston. So again, on behalf of the entire organization, thank you for coming out. Thank you for being a part of this historic night. I guess, go Jazz! Go Rockets!